What makes you feel happy? When I go to the theatre to see shows. A happy and smiling. I like eating ice cream in the park. My dog makes me happy. I like watching football. I enjoy going to drama group in Hexham. I go to the council meetings at the Civic Centre in Newcastle. That makes me feel happy. Playing football, having a girlfriend and watching football. Um, coming to the Tristan Ducks and playing for little niece's family. <laughs> going to the involvement in our team when we talk to people with a learning disability and to self-advocacy group, gates of people. I see all my friends. Um, seeing my family and friends so I haven't seen them for a long time. My friends, my family, my boyfriend and my work colleagues. Being interested in ducks because it's about going like something I love doing and I love to perform and love being on stage and love going on tour, like all the events where we go and stuff. What was me and a lot of makes us feel happy. College. Being around me friends and me family. Shopping. Makes me happy because I can go out and about by myself and I can do things better. Uh, music, drums, guitar, um, and now just and ducks. Um, but also making other people happy, putting a smile on somebody else's face, but a smile on my face. Um, I work for KK2, which is a voluntary project run under another organisation supporting the social life of people with learning disabilities and I enjoy doing it because it's DJing and it's something that I'm proud of. Maybe I'll be happy because I, I love my friends like Gary, he's very tall, nice looking guy and he's a wonderful guy to me. My brother day, my other boyfriend Gary, on Wednesday lunchtime I got a long deal in Jasmond. He had had to get high with poured lemonade. He had legs, sandy. I hear music in the background. He gave me a gorgeous engagement ring. He posted it to me, one knee down. It's a wonderful day. Thanks, darling. My brother day, I sat down on the park bench, eating ice cream. We took a flick with 99. It melts my mouth and made me happy. I have blue sky, the sun is out, and the gorgeous smell of the green grass. It's fresh, it's cool, and nice breeze. In my brother's day, on the breaks, I hear the birds singing, the sky is blue, a river has gone by. My brother's day, me and Gary got some bread. I feed the ducks in the pond. He joins up. Yes, I, I do enjoy myself, John. My brother day, have a picnic champagne together, picnic hamper, ham, tomato and coarse sandwiches and some wine, nuts and crisps. My brother day, go back to the garage house, have a coffee. Black coffee is two sugars, not too much sugar, it's a small amount. My favourite cake is chocolate cake with jam inside and the milk my mouth made me happy. My brother day, Go back on the metro up to I love you, darling. You give me a kiss. Good night, darling. Pink and purple, sunset come down. It's a wonderful day. Thank you. You put me to get there. Yes, darling. I put my heart. My heart. I love you, my heart. My perfect day. That's my world. That's my perfect day. Who makes the choices about your health? The NHS make the choices about my health. I'll say I was in charge of my health. And my, my staff makes appointment at the, the, the doctors and the uh, dentist for us. The guys at, at New Prospects. My, my staff. I ring up the doctors myself and I ring up the dentist myself if I need any appointments done. Myself because I know when I'm not like un when I'm not feeling very well, and I would tell me mum, and she would probably make an appointment at the doctor's for me. My mum used to do ring up the doctors to make appointments, but now I do it myself. Um, if I get stuck, she's there to help us. 
But I make the choice about what I want to eat, and if a doctor asks me if I'm happy, and if I don't understand, I ask the doctor, I ask the mum, and she'll uh, excellently be able to understand. My mum makes my appointments for the doctors and the dentist, but I go to the dentist on my own because we like our dentist. About keeping it right, trying to lose weight, go to a fit club every Tuesday and Thursday night. The hospital passport's really good because it gives you more choice in your independence in life whilst they care so that the staff know what you need in your care life. Eat healthy. Yeah. <laughs> what do come in and check on me, make sure I'm all right. Um, and if I'm not feeling so great, they'll actually ask us why and what's up. And then obviously I have to tell them. Uh, well, I don't have to tell them, but it's best to tell them. Um, and they'll try to do what's best for my health. So, me. Is I decided in December of last year to um, not to have fatty foods anymore now. So the choices I had was um, take no sugar in my tea, um, have no biscuits or crisps or cakes or pies and pasties. And um, considering that, um, I've actually lost weight. Jim. I choose to go to the Freeman Hospital in Newcastle because they are the experts in heart and they're the right people for the job. Are you sure you don't want us to come in with you, love? Ma, I'd say get the bus if you're going to interfere. Oh, well, I know what I'm not needed. I'll just go into the library and have a piece of your dad's homemade food cake. I know what they're charging that cafe. Ma'am, you're not allowed to take your food into the library. Nonsense. I'll be discreet and I'll save a piece for you. Right to you, nothing to worry about. Let's be honest, tell me your problems. How you been feeling? Coping. We are here to help, there's nothing to worry about. Right? Right? Tony Harris? Yeah, hi. Hi Tony, would you hi. like to come in? Sorry, I hope you haven't been waiting too long. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Alright, just come through. So the best thing we can do is hand you over to our specialist learning disability team. Okay, and they can give you the best kind of support. Um, there's nothing you have to do. What I'll do is I'll get them to contact you, uh, which I'm sure will be a relief. Um, and then we'll take it forward from there. Okay, it's just that my mum said it's good to talk to someone, you know, to get things off my chest. She's right, Tony. There's, it's no good bottling things up. Um, is there anything specific you'd like to talk to me about today? Well... Not really. So it's hard to explain how you're feeling, isn't it? It is, Tony, and, and that's okay. Um, is, is your mum not here with you today? She's in the library. I thought it best to come on my own. Well, that's okay, Tony. Um, but it is good sometimes to have someone with you, you know, for a bit of moral support. Sit and take over a bit sometimes. Well, um, you know, Tony, I think the best thing for us to do is to hand you over to our specialist learning disabilities team. Okay, and um, just have a look on the computer. And there is actually one very close to where you live. 
Um, they've got some fantastic resources there. They'll give you someone that you can talk to. Um, so unless you know, you've got any worries or concerns, then as I say, I'll get them to contact you to arrange an appointment. Okay, so is there anything um, that's worrying you at all that you'd like to talk about right now before you go? Not really. Okay, Tony, that's great. Well, it's been fantastic meeting you today, and if you have any more problems at all, please feel free to come and talk to me, okay? Yeah, well, that's okay, but I want his accounts in by tomorrow morning. Doctor, this poor man with learning disabilities has just fallen from the window. Ow! Now, Liz, stop bothering us. Can't you see we're having a meeting? Send him to the learning disability team. But, Doctor, he has broken his leg. Did you not hear me, Nurse? He's not our responsibility. He needs special treatment. Are you crazy, Frank? This man is in need of medical care. Nurse, get me a bandage. Yes, Doctor. Well, it looks like a bad break. We may need your help for this one, Wendy. Yes, you, Wendy. You're good in a crisis, aren't you? Well, hold the patient's hand while I bandage his leg. Well done, Wendy. We need caring and collected people like you in here. I ask you, sending him to the learning disability team for broken leg? Would you ever? Would you send a patient with a broken leg to the learning disability team to deal with that instead? Of course not. What balderdash? Would you send your car to a PR team if you wanted your oil changed or something just routine? What nonsense. And I don't understand the last analogy. Just go with it. People are not objects. We should all have eaten care. It's how we build the NHS is what is only for. Doesn't matter what you need or from where you came We'll offer you the best of care, we'll give you good advice Everybody gets the same affair and equal size But hold your horses, just one sec Not everyone fits the same glove We all have different needs, you see We all are different love Help the sexism Everyone is equal, we'll treat you all the same Doesn't matter what you need or from where you came We'll offer you the best of care, we'll give you good advice Everybody gets the same affair and equal size Well I can't read I need some time Well I have trouble remembering things Oh you'll be fine I need help with appointments And I am blind I struggle getting in and out. Oh well, never mind. Everyone is equal, we'll treat you all the same. Doesn't matter what you need or from where you came. We'll offer you the best of care, we'll give you good advice. Everybody gets the same affair and equal size. Now hold your horses just one sec. This is crazy at best. I thought you had a policy, I saw it on the news, of giving reasonable adjustments and listening to patients' views. You can't treat everyone the same. Well, that's just no good. You need to treat all patients as individuals so that everyone gets equal treatment. <sighs> There's accessible information on all these things indeed. Medication leaflets in accessible fonts and easy reads. 
self-help guide and audio about anything that you need to know. There's a list of accessible websites and they're ever so easy to follow. Reasonable adjustments. Remind us with a call. Reasonable adjustments. Assistance to get you to your appointment. Reasonable adjustments. Longer patient time. Reasonable adjustments. Well, I didn't know that, and that's not all. Reasonable adjustments. You can get extra support. Reasonable adjustments. Advice lines that you can call. Reasonable adjustments. Learning disability, e learning programs. Reasonable adjustments. Information on consent. With little changes here and there.